Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and this is Unreal World and we are here down in the south region of the map exploring the richest civilization. Uh, I figured this is a good spot if we're going to open up some some areas for trading and blacksmithing and whatnot. Why not do it down here where the real money's at? So we're trying to just uh, open up like most of their territory. Let's head north actually. I want to see this little spot right here. Um, that that's covered up. I want to see if there's any good hunting territory because I wouldn't mind set. Oh, there's a river here. I wouldn't mind setting up a shelter in the general vicinity so we can start doing some serious hunting, start accumulating some wealth, and probably trade it away eventually. Oh, I'm super tired. I just noticed that. Okay, we got we got to take a rest here. Let's greet the earth upon going to sleep. There we go. So we still got our dogs with us. Food-wise, we're pretty stacked. Yeah, I brought a bunch of food on this trip. So we can cross the river right here. I don't know if you can see that, but right in front of my character. I'll step closer to it. There it is, right there. There's a little crossing here. So when we zoom in, I should be able to just walk right across the water, just wade through the shallow part, and not have to worry about swimming, which of course can get you killed. You go out into the deeper water, where you see that different dark blue color. If I were to step into these darker shades here, it's gonna ask me, do you wanna swim? If I say yes, then we're, yeah, it's not good. You wanna watch that, because you can easily drown yourself. So if you wanna experiment with it, what you do is you find a spot like this near the shore, and if you just wanna practice, you know, you can, I'll zoom in a little bit. So what you want to watch out for is your endurance total there at negative 18. If that gets, I think if you run out of endurance while you're swimming, you die, you drown. So if I hit yes, it's going to say you struggle in the water with your last bit of strength, you are in danger of drowning. So we're going to move right back. <laughs> See, so that was, uh, yeah, right away. I was in danger of drowning immediately. So that was not good, even though I had like total endurance. Now, I think that's basically because my swimming skill is like, to it's at a zero. I have zero swimming skills. So we just get in the water and we're like instantly flapping around like drowning. We have no no suitability for swimming, but that's okay. I, I selected it. That's how we like it. All right, so let's move up. Now we've crossed the river. Um, yep, 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 yep. You can see that river too goes all the way to the shoreline. So all the way to the coast from there. And I don't know how far inland it goes, but it probably ends up right here at that lake. So let's let's follow the river for a little while. Oh wait, is that a mountain? Oh yeah, if you spot mountains, always always take a step to the mountain and stand up on top of it because it allows you to see. And really nice radius. There's another one. Oh, this is pretty sweet. I like this. Unfortunately, there's no good hunting grounds, but hey, you can't have everything, right? The river makes it a little awkward too. Oh, there's some flat land to the south there, it looks like. Possibly. I don't know how much there is, but Okay, we're just we're just exploring. Polecat, no. Not doing any hunting right now. We don't have the capability to really mess with it. Okay, so I was wrong. This river goes northward past that lake and just continues on. But so will we. Actually, let me check things real quick. How far? We've actually left the territory of the uh, kind of the people, the Drick. That's their culture's name, the Drick. So we've left their territory. Hmm. I think I will kind of backtrack. Probably because I, I mean, the whole purpose of this is exploring their territory, not just going off on some wild goose chase following the river line. So let's see if we can't find another good crossing point. And we'll get back over there. That's the hard part, really. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So that's the hard part, though, is finding these decent crossing points. I don't think this one's viable. It's hard to tell, but what we're looking at here is a, a set of rapids and then, a, and then a crossable spot. But we wouldn't be able to get past the rapids. And if you do it at a diagonal like this, it's not going to work. It needs to be straight full on like that. So it's a little bit touchy. In terms of finding a decent spot to cross. Now, if we had a boat or a raft, it wouldn't even be an issue. But, I mean, at the very worst, we'll just cross where we crossed initially. We know there's at least one place. And sometimes the rivers are like that. You have to backtrack all the way back to the original place. 
does happen. All right, like I said, I'm not really hunting, so I'm just going to exit out of any animals we see. This is, again, not a crossing. This is rapid, so if I go into this location, let me zoom out just a tiny bit. Yeah, see, this is this is all deep water here. It's just rapids. Now, the cool thing about this is if you settle near this in the winter, it will not freeze over. So you'll be able to fish and go out in your boat at any time. Hey, I want to see what these mushrooms are. When consumed, it makes you fall into a trance and journey into the spirit realm. Let's pick a couple of these. You know, in all my time playing this game, I've never eaten these mushrooms. Oh, is it too soon? Yeah, I can't eat them yet. Oh, well, I wanted to try it, but I've never, I've never done that. Why did I zoom back in? I'm trying to eat here. All right, so we're heading along the river, taking the scenic route. We did open up a decent amount of land on this side, so it's not the end of the world that we have to cross back. Here we go. This is where we're at. And just gonna pop right over here. Shallowest part, that's what I'm looking for. Let's go. And of course, at this time of the year, uh, temperature is not a concern. We're a little bit cool after getting out of the water, but that's it. But now if it is like fall or early spring or whatever, and you're trying to cross, you better watch that. You better watch your temperature because you can definitely become hypothermic. Gosh darn it. There's forest reindeer on every side of the river here. And yet they're, none of them are in the middle of the field. They're all protected by these trees. All right, let's keep moving. This is really one I wanted to explore anyway, was this location over here. Oh, hey, we got ourselves a village. Let's go have a sleep in one of their buildings for the night instead of just trying to rest out here in the woods. Let's go have a proper rest, and I'll talk to her. Hello. Let's see. Do you have a blacksmith? Uh, not here. How about a sage? Yes, they do have a sage. Okay. Well, we've learned that they have a sage, but no blacksmith. Oh, I should probably ask... Oh, she's sleeping out here. Do you have any animals for sale? No, they don't. I just noticed, though, that they do have some arrows. Ooh. I'd kind of like to buy these, but how many do we have? Yeah, I've got seven broadheads and two fine arrows. It's kind of lit. It's not a lot. It's not a lot, but I don't really have much to trade except for my food. i got a lot of cords. Yeah, we'll just hold off on that now. Like I said, I'm not really hunting anyway, so it's not a big deal. Oh, we are cold. That's interesting. So I probably should have slept somewhere where there was a a fire. I still have a little bit of fatigue left, so I'll just lay down by this fire. That should warm me up. Very good. Yeah, now we're nice and warm. Sometimes at night, if the, even in you know summer or spring or whatever, you can get a little bit cold. It can be hard to fully warm up if you're not properly sitting next to a heat source or whatever. Okay, so... This area, I was hoping for some flat land here that we could maybe hunt on, but it's not. there's not much. It's not very, doesn't look very promising. Although this is an interesting spot right here. We currently have a mission, or yeah, it's a mission, I guess you could call it. No, not that. This right here, to set up a trap fence, large-scale passive hunting. So I'm thinking... Well, I've forgotten where the directional thing. I think it's over here. It's uh, this is. I think this is going to be a choke point somewhere over here. Where did I pass it up? Hold on. It's it's. I guess maybe it's a rather large one. So yeah, this isn't as ideal as I thought. So there's one edge of the water right there to the south. We run up here. You can see there's probably another edge. Yeah, there's okay. Not quite the narrow choke point I thought it was, but. Sometimes you can find them very narrow, but uh, that's not one of them. So I'll just keep moving. This one's probably not either right here. All right, what do we got? Uh, this area looks old. Now this is, I think, one of the original spots. Yeah, there is a nice open area right here. I think this is probably going to be our best bet. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's look around. There's a village down here. Oh, I gotta put some food in my bowl. Hold on, I got an empty bowl here. Let's pour put uh, the elk cuts in there. Very good. 
Okay, so let's see. There's a village right there. No big deal. That doesn't matter at all. But I do want to kind of open this up a bit more. See just how substantial this territory is. If there's anything here, any more to it. All right, let me look on the map real quick. So I'll probably just go ahead and open up the rest of their territory too while I'm out and head south a little bit. Okay, well, that's not so bad. I've opened up a majority of that territory there to the south, and it looks like there's, what, five, six different villages clustered all together? Pretty amazing just how dense this civilization is in terms of its population, but just goes to show how wealthy they truly are. So... There is a good amount of dark territory. Let me take this off here so you can see a little better. Yeah, you see the darkened areas? That's what we're looking for. So, and there's a lot of it over here. It's kind of spread out. We got to travel from patch to patch. But I think I'm going to set up a shelter. Let me go explore this northern section. There's a little bit left up here that I'd like to see what this corner is. God, we're still chilly. I'm going to stop off and maybe take a nap next to the fire real quick here. Oh, look. Holy crap. Do you see that? There's a freaking moose and elk right here and it's baby. Like literally inside the freaking village, bro. Hold on. Uh, I guess I'll take a shot. <laughs> you might as well. We hit it. <laughs> Crippled. Wow. All right. Well, I guess the hunt is on, folks. Let's do it. We're okay. Chili is fine. We can tolerate chili real quick. Let me grab my arrow. All right, let's go. let's go. I'm I'm chasing him. We're sprinting. Owls on the move, bro. I got this thing, dude. He's gone. He's freaking crippled. Give me that hand axe. This little guy is ours. Even that forest won't save him right there, cause yeah, the forest won't save him because the trees are too sparse. Look, we're just chasing him in circles right now, bro. All right, I gotta stop sprinting though. Yeah, it's a little too much for me. Okay, we're losing him. I lost sight of him. There he is. He's right there. Okay, okay. He's probably going to be breathless here any second. He's very fatigued. So, yeah, he he's almost done for. I have confidence. In fact, I'm going to sprint a little bit more. A little closer to him. All right, now we can't sprint anymore. So, we can, we're just walking. But, yeah, he can't even get away from me when I'm just, like, at a steady walk here. So, he's done. Zoom in real quick. Beautiful. Whoops. All right. The dogs, the dogs, the dogs are going to be an issue here. Where's the nearest tree? Hmm. God, this whole place is treeless. You kidding me? I've never seen a... Okay, it's all down south. Damn it. That's all right. That's all right. I don't want to lose sight of him because he might try and lay down and rest or whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and bash his brains out. <laughs> Sorry, a little group graphic there. I'm going to take him out humanely in the most humane way possible. And then I'll hurry up and try and tie the dogs up somewhere else. Oh no, I beat it to death finally, but I can't move. And the dogs are in range. They're going to eat it. Oh no, these stupid dogs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they ate it, some of it. Slightly eaten, you jerks. Hold on, I can probably just pick it up. It's so little. Yeah, I don't need to worry about oh wait i am pretty t oh no i can't pick it up damn it all right well let me drop it and go 180 pounds that's still a big elk or you know even though it's a calf that's decent that's like a reindeer size so let me put the dogs away and we'll take it up to the village which is super close okay we have arrived at the village and of course we've never been to this one before but that's okay here we go here's a spot they won't mind won't bother him in the least if I sit here. It's not lit, though. What the hell? Oh, weird. Usually the fires are always lit, except for, like, briefly in the morning. But, I don't know, maybe they're being lazy. Let's see here. If I give them some time, I'm sure they'll they'll light it. Uh, is that one lit? Okay, that one's good. Yeah, plus the water source is just outside this building, so that's good. We can certainly smoke as much as I need, because I've got all the cordage with me here. For whatever reason, I forgot, and I just brought it with me. So let me get this taken care of. This should warm me up, too. And then we've got more exploring to do. Okay, well, I'm just about to start tanning this hide here. 
And you may say to yourself, why doesn't he just go ahead and set up his base camp here at the village and hunt from this position and come back here? And because I will have to return to at least one of these villages and, you know, keep smoking my meat until it gets cold enough, we can start drying. But the reason is because when I try and do things here in the village, it takes so much longer to process because of all the different characters on the screen here. I'm going to go ahead and just preserve this skin. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to wait. Dang it. All right, so we'll wait till that's done. But yeah, that's the reason that I don't uh, just... Why I like to have a shelter off in the woods in case I want to do crafting or anything like that. We can uh, go to our own little shelter and kind of away from the villages, but still close. You know, obviously close enough that I can come back here and, and set up some smoking. Speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and mark this one as smoked meat here so that way I know this particular village has some of my meat there and I'll have to come back to this one so this for now at least this is probably a good location to explore around just see if there's any sweet spots for a village or uh, for a uh, shelter this is not a bad little spot but it's kind of small if it connects to yeah okay okay so you just want as much of this clear open area as you can get all right, let's see. Let's check this guy out. Now, this is a bit of a risk because this could be a robber, but it's unlikely, I think, since it's in the domain of the Drick civilization. Yeah, it's just a regular woodsman. Let's just talk to him, see what they got going on. Oh, look, they got dogs too. Neat. Greet him. Hello. All right, we introduced ourselves. I'm going to deliver an item. I'm just going to give him some food, meet a stranger on the road, give him a piece of food. We're wealthy. It's okay. We got plenty of food. All right, and let's go back. So does he want to join us for a longish adventure? Nope, not interested. All right, no problem, buddy. Have a good day. Usually I've noticed if they have an, a dog with them, they won't want to join you for whatever reason. It's weird. Now, it's not always the case that if they don't have a dog, they will join you because that's certainly not the case. A lot of the times just solo adventurers won't join you for whatever reason at all. But you can get them to join too at times. Oh, interesting. There is a lot of forest in this region. There is some flat land, but still tons of forest. All right. Well, I have located a decent little spot here. It's uh, at the edge of some plains, some nice flat area. There's a tiny little lake down here, just a single spot of a lake. But uh, I'm going to set up a shelter right at this location. If we look on the bigger map, you can see that I'm still in the middle of the, the Drick culture here. A bunch of cities around me including the one that we just set up the meat at i believe that's this one yeah okay our smoked meat is to the south of us so that's nice and convenient but this is going to be the spot at least for our first shelter in this particular area all right very good as you can see i'm cold and extremely tired so he got that built really quick though i'm happy let's go ahead and i'm gonna drop the bones right over here for our dogs i got a, some bones on me i think yeah four elk bones we'll give those to the dogs then i'll go ahead and tie them up finally the dogs get to have a nice meal okay and i'll tell them go ahead guys eat up there you go they'll be happy and i think it's time for us to do a sacrifice let's sacrifice one of our wild boar cuts ah uh, it says we l feel at ease now very good okay so we'll just have our own little meal and i think it's time to say our prayers here and go to bed there we go awesome so we take a look at the map here i'm going to zoom all the way out we have uncovered most of the drick territory here we did start in the yellow territory at the beginning of our adventure and this is where we've gone so far we've done a decent bit of exploring and i've certainly uncovered a number of blacksmiths man i've got to say too i think that personally there are too many blacksmiths i think it should be reduced to one or maybe zero per culture like some of these northern tribes like the owl tribe the ones that our character's from i would say maybe they shouldn't have any at all because they live in like tents and stuff for the most part you know i don't know but i'm, I'm interested to see how he adjusts it or tweaks it as time goes by but at this point, it makes it a little bit too easy to acquire some of the rarer goods or what used to be rare goods, like perfect shovels. You know, I got a perfect shovel within like the first month or so of playing in game time. So it's just, that's not something you would have normally found ever 
in some playthroughs, you know, the perfect shovel, that's that's a rather rare item. But we just bought it right off a of blacksmith. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. I do enjoy the update so far. I think it's been pretty fun, but honestly, there isn't much else to explore. We've made some arrows. <laughs> We've discovered some blacksmiths. I did notice that he's got another uh, update coming out, who knows when, but he's going to be working on some new stuff for sure. So I look forward to seeing that. I think for right now, though, we're going to put this series on hold. And of course, I'm always working on new projects. So stay tuned to the channel, guys. We will definitely have more Unreal World content coming up in the future future. If you'd like to see something in particular, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. But for the meantime, I think the blacksmith playthrough has come to a close. We've pretty much explored most of the updates. So I appreciate everybody tuning in for this one. Hit that like and subscribe guys, and I will see you on the next series.